And with thousands of people out of jobs or having their employment status affected by the pandemic, many had to file for unemployment. Our Zach Fuller spoke with some local businesses about how they're trying to hire and retain workers. Zach. Maddie, since March 16th, almost 969,000 Minnesotans have applied for unemployment insurance. However, the businesses I spoke with say that people were and still are ready to get out to work. When the pandemic struck? What we found uh, right away in March, we had probably, I think, 15 of our caregivers that because of their own health concerns or a family member's health concerns that they actually needed to take time off from work which stretched an essential business a little thin as people are not applying for work. What happened is, you know, we lost about 15 of them at that time, 15. Um, then we still had quite a few less people applying. Something Settlemeyer says applicants admitting they'd rather opt for the extra $600 per week in unemployment benefits over working. It's kind of like you're kind of working against that incentive. Meanwhile, the restaurant industry has lots of movement with employment, but the pandemic made things difficult. With COVID, has definitely made it difficult to have proper staffing. Smoot says he has tried to take care of his workers even with less staff. It's just been a real balancing act, you know, to, to make, it, make it all work and make sure everyone gets taken care of. But as for workers, both businesses say applications are up and people are ready to work once again. We're getting probably at least four applicants per week. So that, that has come back quite a bit. They, they all were happy to get back to work and get back to working. I was way ready to get back to work and ready to jump back into it. Sitting at home for so long as I work 70 hours a week. Visiting Angels say they have been giving their entire staff $2 per hour bonuses since this pandemic began as a way to show appreciation and also paid those workers who decided to stay home for health concerns. In the studio, Zach Fuller, Fox 47 News.